welcome back to learn physics in today's video we are considering about the topic factors on which resistance of a conductor depends so which are the factors depends on the resistance of a conductor so resistance of a conductor is depending on length of the conductor and which depends on area of the conductor so it is depending how it is depending that we should know isn't it if length increases resistance also will increase okay if length decreases resistance also will decrease so that is the if that is the dependence how this resistance and length is depending very good resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor so understood resistance of a conductor will be directly proportional to its length okay then resistance increases if when how it is depending on area of the conductor so if area of the conductor is increasing then resistance will decrease if area of the conductor is decreasing then resistance will increase so how the dependence is can you tell me yes resistance is inversely proportional to area of the conductor so understood what is meant by inversely proportional and directly proportional directly proportional means length increases resistance also will increase if left side increases right side also increases inversely proportional means if left side decreases right side also right side will be increasing okay clear now so resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length of the conductor and which is inversely proportional to area of the conductor as area increases area increases what will happen resistance will decrease so now these are the two terms which depends on the resistance of a conductor so how we can uh, rewrite this as a single equation clubbing the above two equations we can write it as r is proportional to l by a okay so for changing the proportionality sign i am multiplying with a constant changing it into equal symbol for that i am multiplying it with a constant called a rho into l by k this rho is called as resistivity resistivity of the conductor so understood if r equals rho into l by a what is rho rho is called a resistivity of the conductor okay so what is also how this resistivity and resistance of conductor depends as resistivity increases resistance resistance also will increase because it is multiplied rho into l by a so that means as rho increase if it is into means it is numerator part means this will increase this also will increase if it is a denominator part it will be inversely proportional clear now so resistivity rho is called as resistivity of the conductor okay clear now so what is the unit of resistivity unit of resistivity see this equation is very important equation you should by heart this equation r equals rho into l by a okay so usually the in numericals and all that one we will be discussing okay numericals and all the equal to the question usually it's a regular question that uh, is very important also length is doubled what will happen to resistance if length is doubled and area becomes 1/4 what will happen so all those things it will come okay so if radius is doubling or as the radius is uh, decreasing 1 by 4th of the initial value like that many questions will come so this question is very important and this formula also very important okay r equals rho into l by a okay clear now we are considering the resistivity 
Okay, in resistivity, what is a unit of resistivity? Unit of resistivity, how we can find out? See, you, from this equation, can you tell me what is resistivity? R equals rho into L by A. From there, you tell me what is this? Rho equals R A by L. Isn't it? Rho equals R A divided by L. So, here, what is the unit of resistance? O. What is the unit of area? Everything is SI units. So, it is meter square. Divided by, what is the unit of length? Meter. And meter square and meter will cancel and we will get it as ohm meter. So, the unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Clear now? What is the unit of resistivity? It is ohm meter. And resistance and resistivity, how it is depending? As resist resistivity increases, resistance also will increase. Okay, so resistance is a term which depends on length of the conductor and area of the conductor. Okay, then resistivity is depending only on, on its of its substance. Okay, which substance we are considering? Suppose if we are taking copper wire, if it has length is more, length is less, or area is more, or area is less, this uh, resistivity will be same for that. Resistivity does not depend on the length or area. Only resistance depends on length and area. Resistivity depends only on the substance. Substance to substance, the resistivity will be varying. Okay. So, here. So, if we are considering a uh, copper. We know copper is a copper wires. Usually, we will be using for electrical connections and all. We are using Copper wires, isn't it? Silver is the best conductor. Then also, we are that in all reasons you know that the silver is too costly. That's why we are using uh, copper wires. Okay, next look. So resistivity is very low in the case of copper. So it is we are using 10 to the power minus 8 in that order only. Resistivity will be coming. So uh, uh, resistivities of different metals and alloys everything is given in the textbook but no need to buy hard work for those things but you should know as resistivity increases what will happen yes as resistivity increases huh, resistance will increase okay fine okay as resisti resistivity increases resistance will increase okay and resistivity decreases resistance will decrease in the case of alloys and all if you are considering alloys Alloys have very high resistivity. High resistivity means resistance is more. Alloys have resist more resistivity. So, resistance also will be more. If, if it has more resistance, the heating effect, I told in the last video, isn't it? As resistance increases, it will be the electrical energy is wasting as heat energy. And it has Sometimes it will be wastage and sometimes it will we will make convert it as a advantage also. So here in this case it has for alloys. Alloys if I am considering resistivity increases, resistance also will increase. Okay. So for heating elements like this, so in the heater, electric heater and uh, iron box, in all those things the material which we are using will be alloys. Why we are using this alloys as a in heating effect material because its resistivity is high. That is, alloys do not oxidize at high temperature. It won't burn off at high temperature also. If temperature is increasing, usually metals will melt and go, isn't it? So even if other metals are having high resistivity, we are not using those things as our heating inside our heating devices. The reason is alloys do not oxidize readily. Oxidize readily. At high temperature. At high temperature, alloys won't oxidize readily. 
Okay, that is very important. That question is there in your exercise also. Okay, so alloys do not oxidize readily even at high temperature also. That is the reason we are using alloys as or oxidize means it won't burn off. Okay, at high temperature also this alloys won't burn off. That is the reason we are using this alloys as the uh, uh, in heating devices we are using these alloys. Clear now? Okay. So, in today this now we learned about resistance, how it is depending. Resistance depends on length directly proportional to length, inversely proportional to area. So, resistance is equal to resistivity into length by area. That is R equals rho into L by A. So, where rho is called the resistivity of the material. Okay. What is the unit of resistivity? Ohm meter is the unit of resistivity. Ohm meter is the unit of resistivity. So, now, and resistivity increases what will happen? Resistance also will increase. So, the heat in those higher resistive mold, um, alloys will be having, alloys or metals will be having high heating effect also. Even many uh, alloys and metals are, many metals and alloys are having this high heating effect. Then also we are using alloys in our heating devices. What is the reason for that? Because alloys do not oxidize readily at high temperature. Even if it has high temperature, alloys will be oxidizing easily. Clear now? Okay. So, so that is uh, coming under the factors on which resistance of a conductor depends. So, now in the last video we learned about resistance and uh, what is meant by resistance all those things and now we learned about what are the factors which depends on resistance of a conductor of a conductor that also we learn okay now how we can uh, measure the resistance how we can measure the resistance whether we can change the resistance see in uh, in a circuit if I am considering a circuit, okay, I am considering one circuit, okay, I need to change the amount of, see, I am giving 3 volt of current. Suppose I don't want this 3 volt to this circuit, for this bulb I don't want 3 volt, it is high. Then what I can do, how I can decrease, I, I have only 3 volt presence, 3 volt cell with me. What I can do to reduce it to this one? I can, yeah. I can introduce one resistance here. If I am introducing one resistance, resistance here, yeah, I can, so with respect to this value, what is the current I require? Uh, that much of current I can put here by putting sufficient resistance here. Okay, so next step, in the same thing itself, same circuit itself, I need a connection of, first I, I was in need of 1 ampere current, next I was in need of 1.5 ampere current, next I was in need of 2 amperes of current. So in the same circuit itself, I need to change the current which is passing through the circuit. So how I can change that? I can use a variable resistor. In this case, I can use a variable resistor. If I need to change the amount of current in the same circuit, I can use a variable resistor. Okay, the name of the variable resistance which we use in practically was rheostat. Rheostat is the variable resistor which we will be using in our circuit. Okay, if we need to get many uh, amount of current in a single circuit itself, we can, according to that we can change. Okay, that is rheostat as a uh, instrument which is used to find out the, uh, to vary the resistance of a circuit. Okay, so here. In the circuit diagram, I wrote here as resistance. So we should know 
how we will see here and all we use the circuit symbols in first video of electricity i told you how we will be representing all these symbols isn't it so here in this resistance how we can represent the resistance of a circuit or resistance resistance is the property the apparatus which provide the resistance is called a resistor resistor is the apparatus which provide this uh, resistance apparatus which provide this resistance is called as resistor okay resistor is the apparatus which provide the resistance in the circuit this is how we will be representing the resistor if it is a variable resistor if it is a variable resistor how we can represent it it's varying or like this we can represent okay this is another representation of uh, this variable resistor okay so this is a resistor and this is the variable resistor okay clear now now here next is how we can define one ohm are you remembering in last class how we taught you to define the units yes tell me v equals i into r so r equals v by i so next is what will be the next step yes if v equals 1 volt i equals 1 ampere then r equals 1 ohm if 1 ampere current flows through the circuit having a potential difference of 1 volt then resistance offered in the circuit is called as 1 ohm clear na 1 uh, i'll tell you once more see if 1 ampere current flows through the circuit which provides a potential difference of 1 volt then resistance offered in the circuit is called as 1 ohm due to 1 volt of potential difference if only 1 ampere current is flowing through the circuit resistance in the circuit is called as 1 ohm which is equal to volt per ampere okay 1 volt per ampere clear volt per ampere from where we got see volt potential difference is volt and i is ampere so volt per ampere clear now so today what will we learn we learned about the factors depending on resistance which are the factors depending on resistance it is resistance of a conductor depends on directly depending on length of the conductor and which is inversely proportional to the area of the conductor okay so r is proportional to l by a the formula is r equals rho into l by a that is the formula okay don't forget these formulas it is very important and writing it once more r equals rho into l by a and what is the resistivity means it is varying with respect to the substance okay substance to substance the resistance with the resistivity will be varying resistivity does not depends on length and area only resistance depends on length and area don't forget it okay then what is the unit of resistivity unit of resistivity is unit of resistivity rho is ohm meter okay then what is meant by resistor resistor is the apparatus which provide the resistance is called a resistor representation is like this variable resistor if we want to change the amount of current in the circuit then we can use variable resistor the representation will be in one of this you can draw okay then next is how we can define one ohm one ohm we can define it as if the potential difference between the ends of the circuit is 1 volt then it is providing 1 ampere of current through it then the resistance offered is called as 1 ohm which is equal to 1 volt per ampere 
Okay, clear now? So, hope all of you understood all these things. So, as usual, I am telling you once more, please subscribe my channel and for your doubts, you can send it through your comment box. Okay, thank you.